Hey everybody, it's Tyler with Guy Force Gaming, and let me start by saying sorry for the uh, drought of content. Um, but as we're getting closer to Bandai Fest, as we're getting closer to Nationals, um, I've just been tying up some loose ends uh, in my personal and professional lives. Uh, there hasn't been a lot of locals firing off that great. Uh, a lot of people are focusing on EX05 for those going to Nationals, uh, like myself. Um, so the locals, uh, you know, if we do play, it's very casual. Uh, it's only a handful of people having getting great footage. Uh, but hopefully uh, this week, uh, the day of recording, we're going to be hitting a locals. Uh, I'll be getting some footage, try to get a backlog going. Uh, but I do want to get some content out to you guys. And I wanted to be kind of relevant to nationals. Uh, for the last three weeks uh, in the GFG Discord, we've been holding EX5 proxy tournaments just to prepare. Uh, and I do have some deck lists. Uh, I just from the last three weeks, just some first and second place deck lists. Just go over them, talk about just what we could think about seeing. I mean, they've been again uh, overall smaller events. Uh, we haven't hit every archetype, but just I don't know. Could be cool to delve into some of these. Um, just get a, a little peek of what people are testing out, at least in the uh, GFG Discord and uh, our weekly events to what I'm at. Uh, so again, if you want to participate in our events every week, Monday at 7 Eastern, uh, we do hold events and we give away custom prizes, cool playmats. Uh, check out the Discord, link in the thing to join, uh, get good practice in, uh, and yeah, let's just talk about some deck lists and uh, talk about Nats in general. Uh, so the first list I have here is from Brady, uh, Bradyoactive over on there. Twitch, check them out, sub to them. If I remember, I'll put a link in here. Uh, if I forget, I'm sorry. But you, if you guys know about me, you definitely know about Brady. They're great. Uh, they played Yellow Vaccine and ended up second place. This was our first EX5 proxy event uh, over, I think, like three weeks ago at this point. Um, so you're in four of the Kiara Month. And that's the, uh, the one that... When a card's removed from your security stack, you get jamming. So that was his egg of choice. We have the Searcher Kudamon. We have the new Patamon from BT14. Pretty sta staple, and it's what makes the yellow vaccine deck kind of work. Uh, a single Cutemon, which I like. Three Pillowmon, so we just got a couple of floodgates there. Uh, the Geo Gray is, of course, at one now. We have two of that Angemon, and three of the Bulkmon, the one that gives security plus one. Uh, from BT6, while you have exactly three in your security stack, it's plus one. Uh, I'm curious about this choice, but I guess with the jamming, that's pretty strong. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, I, 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 can, I can get down with that. Get down with that. Uh, we have, you know, the one of the Zephyrmon. We have three of the Star Trek Godomon, three of the Angel Woman from... E, or BT11 rather. Three Magna Ace. Two of the Angemo and X Antibody. Just some more recovery. A Shadow Seraphi. Two Venusmon. Three Seraphimon. A Ruin Mode. Messenger of Hope, which is an insane card. It just has a ton of value. Uh, we have two Wyvern's Breath for some removal. Two Physical Training. Three of the Memory TK. And three of the BT14 TK. Uh, this is, it's yellow vaccine. It's just a vaccine toolbox deck. It went pretty good. Went uh, three and one, I believe, that night. It came second place. So, grats to Brady. Big shout outs. Uh, always thank you for participating in our events and being just a great member of the community. Uh, so, yeah. Yellow vaccine is a decent archetype. We're going to see it hang out for a while. It's got a lot of support. I think it'll definitely show up at at Nats. Like, you're going to see some version of this deck toolbox version maybe more in the Anjum online but it's gonna it's gonna pop up uh, next up we have card fight hunter playing metal guru on x here's a deck that got gets a ton of support in the x5 um and really good support so it is be familiar with this he went i believe x1 as well did pretty well so let's go over the deck list uh the pretty standard deck list nothing too tricky uh guru on doing guru on things we have Bukumon. Uh, still at four for Nats, so you are going to see it as the primary egg in a lot of these blue base decks uh, until it goes to one the week after Nats. Um, 
there's Bukumon right there in four. We have four of that Searcher Gabu for BT5. Two of the EX1 Gabu for some Tamer Love. Two Starter Deck Gabu for a small boost. Four of the Gabu X from EX5, which is an amazing card because it can evolve over the egg itself or over Gabu for zero. Um, it evolves over Sunomon for zero, so it's good to note that in the blue base deck, if you're running the Bukumons and you evolve over this, it will be one. Not the end of the world, just a little thing to remember. Surge is top four for an X Antibody and Guru card. You get two of those in any combination. You get a two Guru, two X Antibody. What have you and then if you do add one you discard one gives battle protection to gurus and omnis uh, just a stellar card we have two of the bt5 guru just some memory gain four of that promo guru drawing that cards busted we get that guru on x from ex5 it's it's eyes bomb with a tongue you know it's draw two discard two um when digivolving and then if it's over a Gurumon or has X-Antibody in the stack, you gain a memory. It gives another layer of that battle protection by putting cards back in the bottom of your deck. We have our limited Were Gurumon for some security attack buff. Four of the Were Gurumon X. Uh, if this is the X you want to run, this is a decent choice. Discarding two to unsuspend and grab a Gurumon piece back or an X-Antibody piece back. And it unsuspends your level six. So that's pretty big. Uh, or Omnimon. It unsuspends Omnimon as well. Uh, three of the starter Wegurumon. I honestly, these two new Wegurumons, the starter deck Wegurumon and the EX5 Wegurumon X, just give you so many attacks. And with that battle protection, it's such an issue. Uh, it's a very similar engine to what uh, I've been running in Beelstar, and it just gives you a ton of aggression uh, when attacking. You could discard a card to unsuspend, and then it's inheritables when attacking. You could discard a card to kill a level four or lower. We have uh, two of the old Metal Groom on X. You know him, you love him, you remember him. Uh, we have two, or one, of the new Metal Groom on X, uh, which evolves for one, has blocker and hair, like just by itself, just blocker no matter what. Uh, when Digivolving, evolving, if it has a Metal Groom on or X in the sources, all of your opponents get a ice wall, but like a big ice wall. When attacking, lose four. And then when attacking with him, you can return a card from your trash to the bottom of your deck to delete an opponent's Digimon of the same level. So if you put a level 4 at the bottom of your deck, you kill level 4, you put it at level 6, level 7, etc, etc. We got two Melga Aces, we got an Omni X, we got the Blitz Omni, we get to do that Wombo combo. One Merciful Mode, uh, really good against purple decks, uh, pretty good against just uh, a wide net of meta. It's going to be decent against Anubis, going to be decent against some other decks. It lets you go back down into the Melga so you can evolve again. I don't hate it. Um, for Wisdom Training. Uh, wisdom Training could be a little, a little scary with a bunch of these blue uh, and all these purple. But like if the Wisdom Training, if you're trying to gra evolve into the Were Gurumon, the Metal Gurumon, it, you know, you could reduce the evolution into some of these things so I don't dislike it uh, 2x antibody one of the new proto form which can have some pretty silly synergies with that battle protection because it is a replacement effect uh, two of the starter deck met and three cool boy standard standard deck we're gonna see a lot of melga we're gonna see different ratios very akin to war Greymon decks you're gonna see like a take it leave it ratio style for different people and what they prefer but overall this is a good core of what the new Melga X engine will look like, at least until, again, the Bukumon will be going to one, the Gabu X to one, and the Guru X to one, which will make a big impact. Uh, some of these cards are just too efficient. So, congrats to Lesum, Cardfight Hunter, on his second place finish two weeks ago, uh, and first place finish goes to Eddie Meza. You guys know him. IDBW, he plays a lot of bloom lord he does really well with it i think he's probably my go-to bloom lord expert uh he does play a little different he has some a little different than me a little different than what i've seen people gravitate towards the new stuff he sticks with some of the old tried and true methods and it works out really well for him he went four and oh oh he goes he focuses the four argomon Whew. excuse me 
with just the one Kokomon. We have four Palmon, three Lalamon, three of the Floodgate Pomu, and three of the Suspend Pomu, just opting out of any new rookies, which is fine. If it works, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Uh, we have four of the Sunflow that plays of a guy, four of the Reduction Sunflow, and three Togemon. Decent lineup, decent lineup for fours. Three Cherrymon, four Agitar, one Blossom. That's it. We don't need no new level fives. We don't need we don't need blast. We, he doesn't need it. Uh, four bloom, three hydra, two quartz, one HPD, three agility training, two Mimi from the old memory Mimi, and three of the new Mimi. He's just it's just full consistency. Uh, go. Uh, it's hard to hate on it. It's <laughs> it works. Uh, bloom Lord is with some of these new support, the Togemon and the Mimis, and the Hmm, excuse me. And the training boosts alone. Oh, so unprofessional. Uh, just big boost to Bloom. I've been having a lot of fun with Bloom. Again, you might see slight changes in certain ratios, but expect to see Bloom for sure. Uh, but congrats to Eddie on that. And then over here, we have uh, Ron O'Houlihan. He came second place with a uh, Greymon OTK, Greymon Toolbox. You know Greymon, it can do whatever it wants. Greymon deck uh, this past Monday came second place. I just want to talk about the Greymon archetype really quick. It's aggressive. It's also mid range if you go the more Black War Greymon top end. Um, but it has a ton of support. It has a ton of just. It can just do so much. Uh, it. Whew. He's a main character for sure. Protagonist power. So we he's opted for the Coromon that gives a 1k DP boost instead of the BT5 Coromon, which is fine. You could do either, for sure. Uh, he's got four of the Agumon that searches, four of the VT14 Agumon, four Agumon X. We have the limited Greymon X and three of the old Greymon X. Security plus Greymon, because this is kind of, this build does lean more towards that heavy security rush, that, that punch, that OTK. We have the raid Metal Greymon that gives piercing. Metal Greymon X for some pop and more DP, more security attack on evolution the bt12 war Greymon with piercing and raid you're doing several checks on suspending uh and then you could go right into this war Greymon x to gain some memory back keep turn uh pop something at the end you have the very similarly the omnimon into omnimon x like metal Grumon does for that little combo wombo but you can also just use both of those cards efficiently Two Hades Force, a red memory boost, an offense training, three X antibody, three Yuya, and uh, four of that new starter deck, Taikamiya. Uh, so, so uh, overall, it's just what you want to see uh, from the Greymon deck. This is the very aggressive OTK style deck, and it is, uh, be ready for it. That's, that's all. Congrats to Ron on second place. Uh, now for a new archetype, we have Tessero, who went undefeated uh, this past Monday with the Anubismon archetype. Again, uh, this is going to be, I think this might be the most popular deck we see at Nats. Uh, it's the new hotness. Uh, it is a little, a little uh, sequence heavy to pilot, but it is very powerful. Um, we have the four Sunomon, uh, four Ignitemon for that memory gain, four of the Goblimon from BT14. So when you trash a hand with the Inheritable, you, gain, you trash a card from your hand with the Inheritable, you gain a memory. You could play Floodgates, so you could do two Gazi, two Psych. You could up either one of those. You could keep it split. Uh, Solmon's in here. He has a Retaliation, which is going to be important. Uh, and all turns, all of your Retaliation Digimon get buffed, which is also good. We see the Ogremon, uh, gives you more memory when you trash cards. Gotta love it. The Dobermon X is a huge boon to this deck because on play, it gives retaliation to one of your Digimon uh, until the end of the turn. And then it's when Digimon involving is draw one, discard one, so some cycle. The promo Sabredramon is huge because it has raid and retaliation. Retaliation is a big just synergy with the Anubismon deck because you're running the Mervamon with it. And then raid, this becomes essentially removal. It'll have rush, and you can just choose to get rid of whatever you need to. Uh, Blue Marimon's a good piece to dig. It has retaliation, which again, 
that synergy. Uh, May Crackmon is removal as you need it for a pretty cheap cost. Uh, and then if you climb a line up into a multicolored Digimon, you can gain memory when it dies. If you get up to the ruin mode, it'll help you get memory back. It's not bad. Uh, definitely it helps you deal with floodgates that are going to otherwise really... It could, it could kill two Psychmon, essentially, if you need it to. We have Mervamon. You guys remember what she does. She'll play Cross Heart and Retaliation. Well, she plays Purple Digimon, period. But your Cross Heart and Retaliation Digimon will get Russian Blocker. A Nidhogg, just for more discard synergy to gain a memory. The Anubismon himself, when he digivolves and main, so either or, when digivolving and main once per turn, you can trash up to three cards in your hand and play a purple Digimon from your trash, reducing the play cost by three for each card discarded. Um, or I'm sorry, it reduces by three and then an additional one for each card discarded. So up to six reduction, which is a big reduction. And when a card's played by an effect, you delete a level five or lower. If nothing was deleted, draw a card. Uh, Tester opted to play the Leviamon, which has security plus one. On play when digivolving, it kills something. And all turns, whenever anything dies, you gain memory for each thing that died on your opponent's side. Uh, a Death X, two ruin modes, just big top end. Uh, calling at one, but three mem boosts and four wisdom training. So... Tessero doing it again with his, you know, he's he's the purple guy. He, he knows how to play purple. Uh, this video is getting long-winded. Uh, grats to Tessero for coming undefeated. All of you guys, grats to you guys. Your prizing's on the way if it's not there already. Uh, I do want to touch base real quick on some decks that haven't been in the GFG tournaments, but I do think we're going to see at Nats uh, in various amounts of popularity. The David deck is a new archetype. It's pretty cool. Uh, just look into those cards, what they could do, all those aces. They're very cheap. They play kind of a, in, a, in a roundabout play style. Uh, not quite like Royal Knights or uh, D Reaper, but very uh, counter normal play style like that. Uh, just cheap, efficient cards with good removal and kind of gimmicky. So look into those. Be prepared for those. Uh, Mirage, we haven't seen any at GFG, but Mirage is a contender. Uh, I think it's going to be super popular. Uh, if people don't want to invest the time into learning the Melga stuff before it gets uh, banned and limited, uh, the Mirage deck does a very similar playstyle where it climbs the stack, attacks for all your security, tries to beat you in a turn. Mirage Galgamon is going to be very popular. Shine Greymon will remain very powerful. Uh, it has the ability to run up to eight training boosts and grab every piece it needs uh, in latin america in europe we've seen at their finals a lot of shine graham on a lot of mirage galgamon i think we're gonna see the same in america i think beal star is gonna show up with the bark star engine the gurumon engine uh, i know that that's what spoilers that's what i'm probably going to be playing that's what i've been grinding and testing with uh, just using that Gurumon engine to draw and discard all your seven costs and get Beale Star super cheap. It's a very aggressive control style deck, and I love playing aggro. I love playing control. So the for me, Beale Star has always been the perfect blend of those. Um, I feel like I'm missing an archetype here that I should definitely talk about, but. You guys remind me in the comments, and I'll talk about whatever decks you want to see. I do. We'll have more gameplay videos. Um, Hopefully we touch base more on EX5 before finals, but if not, just uh, hit me up here. Tell me what you guys want to see. Uh, sorry for the lack of content. Like I said, I'm making sure that uh, work's going to be good without me while I'm gone for a week. I'm getting things lined up uh, in my personal life so that, you know, my dog Toast over here who barked will be taken care of while I'm gone for a week. And I just want to get to LA and have fun with you guys. Come say hi to me. Come hang out. Take some pictures. I'm so excited we're like two weeks away from the biggest bandai event of the year possibly of all time i'm just excited to have some fun with the boys with the gals with the the hymns hers days everyone uh, let's all have a good time and make some good memories thank you guys for watching like comment subscribe i'll see you soon uh i love you guys take care of yourselves take care of each other sorry it's been a long video bye